Christmas Being with you is like never ending sunshine Feels like everything stops for a while When we look into each other's eyes How could I ever let you go now When you're looking like that Hi, it's Katie with Hill Country Hands Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today Today's video is going to be an easy, simple, yummy, healthy chicken pasta recipe for this recipe you're going to need angel hair pasta some chicken strips a handful of baby spinach an onion some garlic cloves some olive oil and some seasoning i use salt pepper crushed red pepper and italian seasoning and for our family i usually do four to five chicken strips so to start off we are going to chop up our garlic i chopped up four cloves of garlic this time and i am just going to put them off to the side in a bowl and then i'm going to start chopping up some onion then i will go ahead and start my noodle water and then i will start chopping up the chicken strips like I said, I'm doing four chicken strips and I chop it pretty thin into small pieces. And then after it's chopped up, we are going to start seasoning the chicken. I used crushed red pepper. If you don't like spicy, I would just use a little bit or not use that at all. But I use quite a bit. Um, this recipe my dad used to make whenever I was growing up and I loved it. And over the years, I've kind of tweaked it a little bit and made it my own. And the next thing we're going to add is some black pepper, crushed black pepper. I add a lot of that as well. My dad always added a ton of crushed uh, black pepper. And then we add just a little bit of salt. At this point, we are gonna go over to our stove and add some olive oil to our pan. Um, I usually turn it to about medium heat. I ended up turning the heat up a little bit too high on this time that I made it. I'm still getting used to my new pan. Then I am going to add the angel hair pasta to the boiling water. I added about half a package, which was enough for our four servings and a little bit for the kids to have some pasta as well. You could use any noodles that you like. Now that our olive oil is heated up, like I said, mine got a little bit too hot. I'm adding in the garlic and onion, and I'm just gonna stir that around, and you just want to saute it. You don't wanna burn the garlic. I'm adding a little bit of salt and pepper. And I will just continue to cook that for a few minutes, stirring frequently. Then at this point, I will add the chicken and go ahead and start browning that. It usually takes me about five minutes or so to get the chicken browned. I like to go ahead and get it a little brown on the edges. You don't want to dry it out. If you notice that your chicken is not browning, you might have too much olive oil. Sometimes I do have to dump a little bit of olive oil out in order to get that brownness. Then at this point our noodles are done, so I am just putting some of the pasta into a bowl and I'm adding in olive oil and our seasonings and I'm just going to stir that around really good. I'm adding in the Italian seasoning, the crushed red pepper, and uh, black pepper and a tiny bit of salt and I'm just adding the pasta in in batches that way it all gets really coated with that seasoning and the olive oil. This is just the best way that I have found to make sure that all of the pasta gets seasoned well and doesn't get dried out. So I will just continue to add that until all the pasta is done. I usually do it in three or four batches. Then 
Then we are gonna take our handful of spinach and chop that up finely. Once it's chopped finely, we are gonna go over to the stove and add it into our chicken mixture. I have the stove turned off at this point. I just want the spinach to wilt. I just recently started adding spinach because it doesn't really change the flavor and we're getting some extra nutrients and vegetables in that way. I should have put a lid on over the pan, that way it would have wilted faster. But I just let it sit there for a few minutes until it wilted and got coated with the olive oil. And then it is time to serve. So we just put some of the pasta in a bowl and then we just put a few spoonfuls of the chicken mixture on top of that. And that is it. Super simple, it's really yummy. Please let me know if you try it. You can make it your own. You could add so many different vegetables to it. I also love adding basil. I didn't have any basil on hand and I like to add mushrooms just to mine. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you all in the next video.